Hello dear students, welcome to SA2 9th Standard Social Science Part 2. Yesterday I presented a question paper with answers of the first two mains. Today I am presenting the answers of the remaining mains of SA2 question paper in social science. You know very well the pattern was 8 multiple choice, 8 one mark questions, 8 short answers, 9 questions of long answers, 4 questions of very long answers and one for one mark for drawing the map of Karnataka, 4 places for the location, totally 5 marks, totally 80. Now, let us continue to know the answers of 3rd, 4th, 5th and the last main. 8 into 2, 16 marks, short answers. List out the teachings of Jesus Christ. Dear students, one of the most important questions of the first lessons Prophet Muhammad and uh, you know Christianity, right? In these two lessons, you have teachings and spread of Christianity and Islam are very important. So the list of teachings, right? God is one and He is the most merciful. He is the creator of entire creation. Everyone should develop brotherhood about others. Loving the people who are in distress is equal to worshipping of God. One should serve others without expecting anything from them. So like this, you can write any four points for two marks. Remember, as per the scheme of evaluation, four points are enough for two more questions. Here, for your Understanding, I am giving more than two or four points. Second question What were the achievements of Devaraya II? Devaraya II defeated the King Gajapati Kapilendra of Odisha and seized Kondavid. By suppressing the regional leaders of the border, he expanded the kingdom up to Krishna River the northeast. Later, he defeated the ruler of Kerala and received royalties from Kerala and even Sri Lanka. What were the consequences of religious reformation? Very important lesson. And here you have a number of questions. One among them, important one is Consequences of religious reformation. The solidarity of Christian religion received a severe blow. Christianity was divided into Catholic Church and Orthodox Church and Protestant Church. Many European kings got liberated from the hold of the Church and the Pope. The fourth consequence is Religious reformation led to rise of nationalism. We have an optional question for it. What were the effects of the Bhakti movement? The reformers were successful in removing many weakness of Hindu society. The regional languages of India flourished. This enabled development of Indian culture. This movement facilitated the evolution of Indian culture. Question number 28. Which areas do the members of Legislative Council represent? The members of Legislative Council, that is Vidana Parishad, represent they are, being, they are elected by the members of Legislative Assembly bodies, graduates, constituencies, 
and teachers' constituencies. One member will be nominated by governor who are expert in the field of art, literature, education, social service, science, etc. Mention the characteristics of social changes. Social change is a continuous process. Social change is universal. Social change varies in its form and speed. The chain of social process create social change. Mention the hydroelectric power stations of our state. There are many and if you mention any four, it's enough. Shivana Samudra, Shimsha, Sharavati, Linganamakki, Gerusoppa, Mahatma Gandhi Hydroelectric Power Stations plus Kali Project Hydroelectric Power Stations like Supa, Nagzari, Gadra, Kodsalli, Varahi, Marikanive, on Varahi River, Badra, Tungabadra, Gataprabha, Alamatti, on Krishna River. These are all hydroelectric power stations of our state. Which are the main causes of unemployment in India? The students try to write point wise, so it is easy to learn, easy to score. Jobless growth, increase in labor force, inappropriate technology, dependence on agriculture, decline of small scale and cottage industries, low mobility of labor are the causes of unemployment. What are the principles of management suggested by Henry Fayol? He suggested many number of man principles of management. For example, division of work, responsibility, uh, division of work, authority and responsibility, discipline, unity of command, unity of direction, subordination of individual interest to general interest, remuneration of personal, centralization, scalar chain, equity. Students, now we shall go to three mark questions and three marks are nine in number with options. What were the administrative reforms implemented by Laudin Kilji? Dear students, you need to write minimum six points to score three out of three. Laudin Kilji implemented various reforms in the administration. He abolished religious endowments, inams, inam lands, and subsidy. He an efficient intelligence network was established by him. He prohibited alcohol, drugs, dice game. He banned association formation among the sardars, that is lieutenants. During his time, the farmers with minor holdings and also the big landlords had to pay taxes. So all these six points we need to write. Describe Shivaji's system of administration. Shivaji had organized an efficient administrative system in his vast kingdom. He had divided his kingdom into many provinces. There were, they were called Swaraj and Mughal areas. Marathi was the language of communication, administration, there were ministers known as Ashtapradans in the government to assist the king. The students, 
we need to write all these points at least six points to score three out of three how are the factors responsible for the french revolution so here economic factors are asked france was an agriculture dominated nation in spite of advances in agriculture practices production lagged behind the yield from land was very low the farmers were the most affected people in the society famines were frequent as a result there used to be rewards quite often for food so these points you need to write these were the economic reasons for french revolution what was the role of garibaldi in italy's unification garibaldi was a soldier and fighter he joined joined the young italy army and assumed its leadership of the revolution after that he constituted an army called red brigade and with the help of sardinia fought with austria so these points you will have to write so this you know very well i feel they are the fundamental rights of every citizen of this country mentioned in Article 12 to 35, the Part 3 of the Indian Constitution. So all these rights you will have to learn. Directive principles of state policy, fundamental rights, fundamental duties. You will have to learn for three months. Mention the characteristics of rural community. Small in size. agriculture and agriculture related economy community life democratic ideals lack of civic infrastructure whenever you have only five points explain any one point for three to four lines you will get three marks write a note on the importance of agriculture in karnataka agriculture is one of ancient primary occupations of karnataka it is the main source of livelihood for many it is the backbone of our state's economy economic progress depends on agriculture you know very well it provides food for people fodder for animals it is a source of revenue of the state and we earn foreign exchange too what are the advantages of tourism tourism satisfies curiosity of the people cultivates the habit of adventurism educates people provides peace of mind gives pictures beauty provides happiness improves health explain the importance of road transport a large number of people live in rural areas in karnataka so road transport occupies very important role in village and towns roads can be constructed easily even in the hilly areas and forest areas at low cost it can be produced goods can be transported to every corner of the state the development of roads determines the progress what measures will you take to reduce the ecological footprint buy organic food or locally grown produce have a kitchen garden bring your own bags to the store buy and eat fewer processed foods instead of drinking a juice box eat a piece of fruit so like this you can write list out the measures taken by the government to eradicate poverty 
economic development measures, implementation of poverty eradication programs, for example, self-employment programs, wage employment programs, provision of minimum basic amenities, social security measures. These are the measures taken by the government to eradicate poverty. What are the main objectives of controlling areas? To create an atmosphere of order and discipline in the organization, to ensure proper coordination of activities, to ensure confirmation of actual performance, the predetermined plans, to achieve the increase of overall efficiency of the organization. What is the need of accounting in business? It is necessary to know the net profit earned, to know the loss suffered, to know the amounts due by the firm to others, to know the due to the firm by others, to submit details of business to the Department of Tax. Accounting is required in business. Dear students, now we shall go to formal questions. All these points you need to write. What were the reforms implemented by ACPA? Administrative reforms, religious reforms, revenue related reforms. All these to be written, at least eight points you need to write. Hope you will mark it in the textbook and prepare well for your coming SA2 examination. So the administrative forms of Akbar is continued here. Write a note on Ramanujacharya's principles. Ramanujacharya advocated. Vishishta Advaita and his principles are given here. Mark it in the textbook. Prepare well. Explain the consequences of the American War of Independence. You have choice here between Ramajacharya and uh, American War of Independence. So you need to mark all these in the textbook and learn well. List out the powers of the Prime Minister. What all the executive powers that Prime Minister has, you need to underline and prepare well. Name the different types of land utilization in Karnataka. Net area zone, forest area, land not available for cultivation, other uncultivated land. Fallow land. Here, net area zone is explained. So you will get 4 out of 4. Dear students, the last question draw a map of Karnataka and locate the following. River Kaveri is located down in the south southern part of Karnataka. Anshi National Park, it is in Uttar Kannada. Toranagal, it is in Belagavi, it is in Ballari. Toranagal is in Ballari. You have Jindal Private Iron and Steel Industries. Ulikal, the highest receiver of rainfall in the Western Ghat, it is in Shumaga district. Asnagar Talo. Hope. You will practice on the base of this and prepare well for exam. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Keep watching SPSS online learning for English grammar and even first and second language English SA2 question papers. All the best.